All right, in this problem, what we've got is sort of a sign type of thing hanging on two ropes, both of which make the same 37 degree angle with our vertical right here. Our goal is to find the tension and the weight of this block or sign or whatever this happens to be. To give ourselves, again, a little bit more room, I wrote this on a separate slide, and the forces are already drawn. I've got force of gravity pulling downward. I've got one tension that goes up and to the right. The other one goes up and to the left. And as we talked about in class, when you have the angle that is the same, 37 on one side, 37 on the other, these are going to be equal tension. So I don't need to worry about a T1 or a T2. They can both just be T because they are going to be equal. From here, the next step is always coming up with our positives and negatives. I'm going to say up is positive, right positive, down negative, right negative. The third step is always trying to find the components. We have two forces that are at angles. We have this T and we have this T. So I'm going to have a Y force for the tension on the right, but I'm also going to have a Y force for the tension on the left. I've got two of them. Similarly, I'm going to have an X that pulls to the right here and I've got an X that pulls to the left. So there are my X's. Now I've got to break those into what they are math-wise because this is a right triangle here and a right triangle there. I'll do the X first because it comes first in the alphabet. X is the opposite side of our particular angle. Because it's the opposite side, that means it's going to be found by taking the sine of the angle, which is 37 degrees. And our hypotenuse is right here, that's tension. And the Y is the adjacent side, so that's going to be found by taking the cosine of our angle, 37 degrees. And multiplying by our hypotenuse, which is tension. Now we do not know what, either the, what the tensions are, either one, they're both the same. So we cannot solve for a number for X or for Y but that's okay. We want to write those down anyway. Once we finish our components, the next step is to add up the things going left and right and going up and down. As I've shown you in class, if we were to add up the x to the right and the x to the left, what we would find out is that they're equal to each other. And that would tell me that this tension equals that tension, but we've already proven that in class, so we're not going to do that here. But we are going to focus on the up stuff, the two y's, and the down stuff, which is force of gravity. So I'm going to do my up stuff minus my down stuff. So I've got one Y upward, and I've got another Y upward. Most common mistake on these is people forget there are two of them. There are two tensions. They both pull up, so there are two Ys. I have to subtract my downward force, which is force of gravity. I am out of up and down arrows. Therefore, that equals zero. A little bit of algebra should tell you that if you have Y plus Y, that's two Y. And I'm just going to add my force of gravity to the other side so that I know that my 2y equals force of gravity. From here, what we can do is plug in what we've got for y. And that is, don't forget the 2, but the y is cosine of 37 degrees. multiplied by the tension. And that's going to equal the force of gravity of this sign. And the force of gravity is the mass times 9.8. Since we have mass, you can plug in mg, and that would look something like this. I still have my two cosine, 37 degrees. times T equals mg, which is the equation for gravity. And don't forget that G is always 9.8 because we're here on Earth. Finishing up, we're going to solve for T because that's what we're looking for. So T is going to equal the M, which is given as 15 kilograms in the problem, times G, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. I have to get divide that by the 2 
cosine 37 degrees. When I plug that stuff into my calculator, what I will find is that my tension is 92 newtons. And I believe the question also said, hey, what is the weight? What is the weight of this sign right here? That's very easy to find because weight or force of gravity, they are the same thing, is equal to mg. And force of gravity then is equal to 15 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared. So you plug that fun stuff into your calculator and you should get 147 newtons for how much the sine weighs. And remember, force of gravity and weight mean the exact same thing. So that's that. Tension's 92, force of gravity's 147, and this problem is done.